COVID, but I believe he's coming back to school in person at NYU. And so because of that, we get to be blessed with his gameplay and a very strong Marth. Definitely a Marth who has potential to get upsets like players of the caliber of Dill. Um, has had good showings in the past, and they're now very recently coming back to these locals. So we'll see what the future holds for them. But right here, uh, already starting with, you know, Rob Classic, you're going to be holding a lot of ledge pressure. Um, and against Ra uh, against Marth, they're a character that is like likes to throw out these sorty aerials. But Rob has a lot of tools in the kit to whiff punish those. So even an aggressive option from ledge is going to be tough for Marth to get out of. So. Um, Mono's gonna have to be really creative on ledge to get back, and in addition, Mono's gonna have to hold or uh, have to get the most off of every neutral win because of how much Rob likes to like throw stuff out. It's gonna be you're gonna be only getting in like a dime a dozen. So when you do get in, you gotta extend the most. Really make sure your tipper spacing's on point, um, and make sure that you're gonna be do able to do the most damage possible. But right now, Dill looking pretty dominant, only like taking 61 from like a few like chip interactions like that, but never really like in a really dangerous spot yet. Ooh, but an interesting foot slow. I wonder if that was intentional. Yeah, right there was scary, so Dill was really smart to throw out that gyro. Even if Mono were to catch it right there, I don't think the fair would have reached Dill. I'm gonna call out the fade back with that up there. Okay, good stuff from Mono. Mono knows Rob's love to jump on ledge because of how safe that fading Nair can be. So actually whiff punishing the jump instead of um, trying to contest Rob directly. And that laser was smart because Dill knows how much Marths and Lucina's value short hopping um, to like get a safe fair in. And so in that position, a lot of Lucina's will offer that, but we're gonna see a shield break. Clean stuff from Mono, not an option we've seen go for all game, so busting it out and caught Dill by surprise, caught me by surprise. Okay, Dill finally gets in, but Mono able to scrap back out, and actually now all of a sudden making an even game. This is what I was saying, you gotta turn your inch into a mile against Rob because you don't get in like that too much. So Mono taking the opportunity, doing a lot of percent, and now it's looking really even. Ooh, still fighting back from ledge, doing a landing to short up, landing up tilt. I think once again, knowing how much Marths love to short hop, catching that jump before it ever, um, before an aerial ever came out. And now this is a lead. And this is where it gets really bad because Rob is so good at extending leads that if Mono doesn't close it out soon, I could see Dill potentially two stocking. Good grab right there. We have not seen Mono go for grabs all game. So once again, Mono is going for options that like are being really mixed up, not super predictable so far, which you're gonna need. Oh, yeah. And this is where it gets scary. Oh, not the spike hitbox, but okay. Good fast fall neutral air dodge right there. One of the best landing options you can go for. Okay. Just kind of a lot of scrappy in the neutral. Not much to say. Mono really desperate for this kill though, and that's why I'm starting to become really confident it's going to be a two stock because at this point Mono um, is going to just be really looking for kills. Oh, fell out of that, the gyro coming to catch the fallout. Still though, okay, this could be a stock loss for Dill. It is. Mart's um, out of shield Nair can be really strong if you get that tipper. Okay, so not two stock like I predicted, but. This would need a miracle in the name of Tipper to uh, bring this back. Okay, but kind of schmoozing with the gyro right now. <laughs> the gyro just in the center. Both of them not wanting to go near it because they know uh, once one goes for it, they're gonna try punish. And 
this is so scary now. 195 trying to get back on the ledge against Rob. Anything Rob does is gonna kill you. Ooh, goes for the grab. That's what I was thinking Dill would go for too, so Mono is really good to scout that out. This, this is Rob will very easily up throw kill now. Oh. And it was spoken into existence. Okay, so I think, I mean, Mono literally had it even that second stock. So, I mean, yeah, that's kind of like a Smash classic. I think the second stock is so vital because that's where, like, the momentum shifts of games really happen. So, I think Mono, they can't be too mad at themselves after that because they know that they kind of just got, like, robbed on their last stock. Pun, pun intended. Um, you know, they, they know that they were trying to get that last kill and were being a little impatient. So if they're aware of that, it can definitely be an adjustment. Once again, though, that gyro being on the ground, it just kind of puts a halt on all gameplay. Nice fair. Ooh. And good for good from Dill right there. She double jumped from the ledge, not pressing a single button, which is good because last game she was going for a lot of, like, ledge hop uh, nares and such. Oh. Oh, oh, look how they massacred my boy, poor Rob. Uh, or poor, not poor Rob, poor Marth. Rob's doing just fine, getting zero to deaths. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. Um, no matter how good you're playing, Rob can kill you at any time. So, Dill, she's a seasoned, seasoned Rob. She's going to be on point with her punish game like that. Good stuff killing Mana right here. And this is, once again, like, such a terrible spot because now you're behind against Dill's Rob. She's not going to give you anything. She's going to do everything in her power to just stay still, stay stationary, and force you to run into such... Uh, run into stuff. And that's, yeah. This is, a. Uh, it's looking like a tragic tale. So, yeah, you're going to need... You're going to need a lot of explosiveness to bring this back. You're going to need to exploit the, like, Rob being a big body and, like, try to catch Rob before stuff like Nair comes out. You know, like, right there. Maybe if you do, like, a jump fair on Dill's hovering. But it's hard because Rob can always mix it up. So Mono's going to truthfully need to play near perfect. All right, there. Dill knows uh, the gyro better than anyone. So she knew that she can up throw right or up air that gyro down right there and just totally go through it. Mono taking a stock right here, but 63 on the last stock. It is looking really rough. Okay. Interesting. looked away for a second and then deal one as uh <laughs> yeah i mean right there it was kind of just over at a certain point one still got that zero to death and mono had to really quickly retaliate and they couldn't and because of that um because of that dill uh dill just like ran away with it because that's smart such smart's like strongest spot to be in Yeah. Well, up and coming, or er, uh, uh, up next, we're gonna have Zane versus Train. Two rhyming names. Um, 